Today's video is sponsored by Native Sons Goods, makers of premium quality guitar, bag, and camera straps, handmade in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Check out their website to order your own custom creation and play in style. And remember, when you support my sponsors, you support this channel, and I sure appreciate it. Hey, what's up guys and gals? Brad the Guitar just here. In today's video, we're going to do something a little bit different. Um, I've got to go to Harbor Freight and buy a tool. I've got to get a Christmas tree bit that's bigger than this one and I hope they have it. I need one that goes up to one inch so we're going to go check it out. But in the meantime I wanted to also take a look at some of the things you can get in Harbor Freight that you can use in uh, building amplifiers, servicing amplifiers, any kind of electronics work uh, like the type that we do on this channel. So if that sounds like something you'd be interested in, stick around. So yeah, you can see on these mailers that they send out, usually they'll have some kind of uh, coupons, things like this 20% off. They'll also have the free stuff, and I've got a, I've got a collection of these um, multimeters because I try to pick one up every time I get one of these for free. You can buy a 99 cent thing and walk out with a free whatever. These are good for looking down inside of guitars, um, and just inside of amplifiers and all sorts of little things. And they're cheap enough that, I mean, they're actually free. They give them away quite a lot. Um, but I'm going to show you some of the things that you can get at Harbor Freight. Uh, we're going to take a trip over there and we'll, we'll look at uh, some of the stuff you can get really cheaply uh, that you can use on your bench. Okay, here we can see uh, they have a lot of meters. These are kind of their upper line of meters. Uh, Ames is what they carry on their upper end. Here's some of the cheaper ones like the Syntex, and here's the free one that, that I could get with the uh, coupon. But just a lot of stuff over here in this section. There's, um, there's a kilowatt right there. That'll measure the current uh, when you hook it up in between the wall and any device so to measure current draw just all kinds of stuff small hand tools uh, needle nose pliers you can get uh, the little small needle nose and stuff like that too we'll take a look at those in a second these leads right here these test leads uh, those are nice to have around for sure and also there are some longer ones you can see there or excuse me they're not longer but they're uh, there are more of them and pretty cheap I mean you see there for like 399 that's actually the set of wire strippers that I already own and they work very well there's a slightly probably a slightly better set there another set so lots of stuff uh, that you can still get in spite of the fact that you know there's no radio shack around that's kind of the point here there's some strippers with the uh, with a set of you know terminals to kind of get you started if you don't have any terminals. And again, little uh, little hand tools like um, you know wire clippers and uh, needle nose and stuff like that. You're going to need to hold your wires. Uh, there's a set of uh, snap ring pliers. Uh, someone, a viewer of the channel, sent me some of those. You've got all kinds of stuff for riveting here, uh, which is nice if you're building something. It um, always looks a little cleaner to rivet things rather than screw them in if you can. And this is the kind of stuff that I get from here. You can see the little uh, retainers right there over there to the left you can see some um, uh, you can see some connector assor assortment right there heat shrink uh, more connectors uh, wire nuts things like that always good to have on hand if you're doing like um, house wiring the heat shrink tubing uh, is pretty cheap 
the little boxes of the heat shrink. Those come in uh, set lengths. You can get this uh, liquid tape stuff. I never, I've never used that. I don't even know what I would use it for. Of course, regular black tape. This is the sort of heat shrink that uh, you will need for doing amp work. That black one right there is a little bit larger, I think, than what I normally go for. That red one is about right for most everything that I do. So I think I picked up a, uh, a lot of that. Here's um, uh, there's some cable retainers there. Another um, uh, terminal assortment. More lengths of shrink tubing. And this stuff is just, you know, really cheap. And if you're in a pinch and you need this stuff in a pinch, you know, you know where to go. And again, with the absence of uh, Radio Shack in most towns now, um, Harbor Freight might be the only option for some of this stuff. This section over here has a lot of stuff I use. There's some Eclipse, some grommets. I have, um, I have that set of grommets right there, and those come in really handy when you're trying to uh, cover up holes so that they don't eat through your wiring in the chassis. Sorry about all the bad cam work here. Uh, these O-ring assortments are really nice. Uh, if you need um, stuff for like you never know when these come in handy. Those can come in handy in a lot of different situations where normally an O-ring is not what you think of first. Belts and things like that, they can double for a lot of belts and tape machines. Again, in a pinch. Uh, always pick some of these up when I go. If I'm in need, those are uh, zip ties and I go through those like crazy. You want to tie up your cables and make things look clean and get them out of the way. It's also good for helping to retain power cords and just things like that. And they're cheap. You can get like a hundred of them or something for, you know, not a lot of money. Get them in different lengths and different colors. Lots and lots of black tape, electrical tape. The glue and the tape. Uh, they've got a pretty good selection of glues and tapes, including uh, Gorilla Glue, wood glues. They also have uh, their own HFT brand of wood glue there, you can see. Hello. They also have aluminum shielding tape, which comes in very handy for shielding both amplifiers and guitar cavities. Uh, super glue. Uh, that epoxy right there, that's good stuff to have on hand, the ones that mix because that stuff gets messy, and if you buy the ones right there in the tubes, I, it, those tend to kind of seize up on you. Because it seems like no matter how much, how tightly you put the caps back on, they just, they tend to leak out on you. Okay, so here are the things I ended up with on this particular trip to Harbor Freight. And as you can see, uh, I've got some multicolored test leads. These are these alligator clips you probably see me use all the time. I've got a bunch of these, um, and I actually had to cut some of these up for testing other things, and so I was down a few. And it's always nice to have some extras laying around. Over here on the side of my shelf, I actually have a... Um, I have a piece of wire strung between two screws and I just clip them onto this wire so I always have them hanging uh, because I use them so often it's good to have them right here by the bench just hanging hanging out um, and I'm sure there's other solutions you could do that would be a little easier than that but it, that works well for me I mean I could make these up too um, if I wanted to spend the time doing it but I mean for that kind of money it's just it's sort of a no-brainer this shrink tubing right here, I already had some, uh, but I just figured what the hell, I might as well pick up some more. Um, this is just about the right size to use on most everything uh, that I will do inside of amplifiers. It's pretty universal size. And let's see, what is this, 11 64ths, eight feet of that stuff you get. And you just you go through this like crazy if you do this kind of work. Uh, epoxy is always good to have laying around because you just never know when you're going to need to, uh, you know, glue a board back together or uh, who knows. I mean, there's all kinds of uses for epoxy. Uh, it basically takes the place of um, uh, super glue a lot of times. Uh, usually get one of these for free whenever I see the. 
uh, whenever I see the coupons for them. I probably have about 10 of these. <laughs> They're nice to have because sometimes you need multiple uh, meters, uh, you know, in various places, and it's just good to have a couple of cheap ones laying around just in case you're getting into some dangerous territory where one might get burned up. It's no big deal if you burn one of these up, especially when they're free. Uh, it's always good to have these Christmas tree bits. Now, I already had a set of Christmas tree bits, and they only went up to, I think, uh, three quarters of an inch or something like that, so they didn't go quite as big as I needed them to go, but these are the... Uh, these are the right size to go be uh, to an inch and beyond, and they're good for drilling into chassis. Uh, if you have thinner material, you can use hole punches. They actually sell this set at Harbor Freight, and I've already picked this up in the past, uh, and it's a pretty decent set. I will say this for it. Um, you just got to be careful. You don't try to go through anything too thick, because if you do, you can actually bend your little dies. Um, that you can see here, see here how this one, the teeth on this one are kind of, kind of bent up a little bit. I tried to go through a chassis that was just a bit too thick for these, really, and uh, it bent them up. But you know, these take the place of some really expensive ones that you can get. Um, you know, not many companies make a hole punch set. Apparently, uh, I, I figured that out when I was went shopping for one, and. Uh, this was about the cheapest one I saw, and I mean, for the money, I can afford to dent these up, and as long as I get, you know, three or four or five uses out of it, I'm I'm still okay, price-wise. But yeah, th these are some of the things that you can get. Also, other things that I've got already was stocked up on. Any of these little sets like this, like grommets, uh, you use these whenever you're, just for all sorts of things. Uh, anytime you're drilling a hole in a chassis and you're going to pass wires, uh, through the hole in the chassis, you want to try to grommet that hole, and you'll get all kinds of uses out of these. Now, some of these larger ones, you may not use quite so much, so you end up using a lot of these, uh, you know, smaller sizes, and then you get these left over. So I've got a bunch of these left over from from other sets. That I'm not even really sure what to do with. So, but anyway. Uh, it's still cheaper than going, even if you went and bought just the one size that you need in bulk, it's, it's probably cheaper just to go, ahead, go out and get this, and you get the little assortment thing you can use for something else later. Uh, you can get heat shrink in, also in, in um, pre-cut sections, um, and that's that can be pretty convenient. And also, they are different sizes as well, so like if you, know, you need something larger, um, you'll have something larger on hand to use. Um, but again, I use this red right here for this 1164 for, for most things. Always good to have a terminal set around. And this has got all the, all the little connectors that you uh, will use for a lot of different uh, situations. You know, you're wiring up stereo, everything from wiring up stereos to putting a, a ground wire in an amplifier. Uh, you will use this stuff. And it's, I mean, it's real, real cheap to buy at Harbor Freight. So I, I pick always try to keep a set of these on hand but yeah this is the kind of stuff you are going to use if you're going to do this kind of work and it's the kind of stuff that you can find at harbor freight uh, also just off the top of my head here here's uh something else i bought at harbor freight this is uh shielding tape this is aluminum shielding tape and a lot of people swear by copper or whatever but aluminum has just about a, a, the same sort of shielding power as copper so th this is very good for shielding the inside of amplifiers uh, the cabinets and, and so forth it's also good for shielding uh, guitars um, but yeah good stuff and cheap at Harbor Freight about as cheap as you're gonna find it but yeah you know that's Harbor Freight and while I understand you know some people's uh, reticence to go to Harbor Freight because you know you're supporting like Chinese communism and all that sort of thing I get that um, but you know I th I'm a guy I think with my wallet and if I if they're basically giving this stuff away to me as a consumer then uh, I'll take it um, you know a lot of radio shacks have closed down around the country and you really can't depend on them for some of the things that you might need you know on a daily basis that you know they even have soldering irons and stuff like that as well I've never tried those I think they uh, I think they sell those for like three two or three bucks yeah sorry I was mistaken 399 you can get a 30 watt soldering iron that's cheap as dirt so I mean uh, even if you get 
one or two uses out of this thing. I mean, it's it's paid for itself already. Stuff like these helping hands, uh, you're going to want. I've, I've got one that I use all the time. You know, safety glasses, just about everything you can think of that you might need, ex you know, outside of components like resistors and capacitors, uh, you can usually find at Harbor Freight. So it's, it's just a really good resource to have there. And no, Harbor Freight is not paying me to make this video. I'm not getting any kind of kickback from Harbor Freight. I'm just making this, so hopefully it'll help somebody. Like if you're in a pinch, um, there's certain things that you need when you're working on amplifiers. Most of you guys probably already know all of this, but some of you might not, and it's probably going to help you out to know that uh, Harbor Freight has a lot of the stuff you're you're going to need. So anyway, that's uh, that'll do it for this video. I hope you guys have enjoyed. Please hit subscribe down below if you have. Also hit the bell to receive all notifications. And for now, y'all take care.